hi guys welcome back to my channel today we will be painting again another food painting and i'm just so excited about this one because you know how much i love uh still life paintings and focus uh focus subjects paintings meaning um close-up paintings so today i decided to paint a donut actually i've done a donut painting like uh, a year ago but i decided to paint another one for you and here are the colors that we will be using for today's painting tutorial we will only be using like four colors today and that's amazing because you know how much i don't like to stress so much about colors all right so these are the colors we have titanium white burnt sienna um yellow deep black that's it so let's begin now i'm gonna underpaint first my canvas or the painting but again as usual we will be sketching first the subject and for the sketching part i'll just use burnt sienna all right so i'll be linking down in the description box below the link to the reference image that i'll be using for this painting tutorial and actually the reference image that i use is not the actual image that i'll be using i actually cropped it so only a portion of that image will be used but anyway you will be able to identify that i'll be linking down the um image link in the description box below let's begin now guys as i told you so for the sketching part just use burnt sienna and any small brush that you have i kind of have here a ruined <laughs> ruined brush so anyway so i'm gonna start by drawing a circle actually it's not really circle it's a bitten donut I didn't like the whole donut thing the normal one because I feel like it doesn't have that style and yeah I just want something else today doesn't have to be a perfect circle because we're not really aiming for a perfect circle I haven't seen a donut which is really perfectly shaped as circle I haven't seen one I don't know about you guys but I haven't seen one all right so this is the the bite the beaten part So we'll be doing some dimensions and depth. Like that. So it's already making sense. <laughs> We're just on the sketching part and I kind of like this already. All right. Of course, this is just the sketching part, which means that some things may or may change. Um, okay, I'm just extending it quite a bit. You see, I'm changing it already like that. So this will be the look of the donut. And we will proceed with um, doing the details later after underpainting it. All right, so for the underpainting, I will be using a larger brush for that, a large square brush. Okay, I'm just gonna use my burnt sienna, tiny bit of black. Okay. And let's underpaint it. This might be a little too dark for your liking, so I'm just going to use burnt sienna on the right side. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of water 
just to make the flow of the paint quite smoothly. Like that. Like that. All right. Now I'm going to add a tiny bit of yellow to the black brown mixture, maybe white, and then burnt sienna, just to get that lighter browny color. And, okay. I'm just going to, okay, actually, this is not too yellow. Kind of like it to be more a little yellow. Like this. I'm going to use more burnt sienna right here. And I'm going to shape the the beaten part um, quite irregularly. Okay, and then just burn sienna right here. Okay, I just use some black to create some depth right here. All right, just like that. So that's basically the shape of this donut. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush just for detailing purposes. All right, so for the detailing, I'm just going to use my burnt sienna, okay? I'm going to add uh, my yellows, okay, right here. So this color, guys, so it's like yellow browny color, okay? Um, be careful not to mix with the black because uh, the black will make the color quite greenish and like dull. As always, you know, black makes every any color a little dull. So I'm going to use this color to highlight some areas now. I may add more yellow because I feel like it's not really showing. Also here, it's gonna make it quite yellowish and make it irregular shaped. So here, it's quite dry brushing, but wet enough, you know, the brush is still wet enough for me to be able to spread some paint quite uh, smoothly. So it's like half dry brushing. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get my black. So get your black. You can even mix it with a tiny bit of brown just to, you know, remove the 
the um, that super black effect cannot even describe it so I'm just gonna add tiny bits of black it's like holes you know that you usually see on a normal bread because a donut is made of you know usually it's made of flour I don't know if there are donuts that are not made of flour I just said that just to be careful you know I might be wrong <laughs> so there are really donuts out there that may not be made of flour so I don't know I haven't eaten one but just to be safe just be on the safe side <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna use again black just to darken corners. gonna make this quite dark right like that and I think I will extend this one Okay, just like that and then I'm gonna outline the donut just like that you don't want to make any harsh lines but the black line should be there so that the donut will not look as if it's just floating on the canvas it should have some surface um, to it should be placed on a surface <laughs> it's so hard to speak today all right okay all right now on to more detailing okay. i like it so far we're like we're almost 13 minutes in So I'll be getting some yellow. I think I already ran out of yellow, so I'm just getting more yellow deep. I was actually having doubts about using yellow deep instead of instead of using cadmium yellow, but later on I just realized never mind. Just just pick whatever yellow that you see first on your <laughs> art card. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of brown and yellow mixture. And again, I'm just going to make some random markings right here make it random do not create any particular pattern because we're trying to create here again a natural subject meaning uh, we will come up with different um, images later Generally, we will come up with the same image if you're following the tutorial. But um, it cannot be the exact carbon copy of it. I'll be using some burnt sienna as well. Just dabbing. So just continue this step and this requires a little bit of patience just gonna make 
Okay, I think I over, um, like, that's not the way I want it. It should be a little rounder. Like that. And for me to be able to delete that, I'll be using white to remove that excess brown color inside. Just like that. Like that. Okay? All right. Okay. I'm gonna go back to using a smaller brush for more detailing, I'll be using my Burnt Sienna, that's black, I'm just going to dab on a mixture of black and brown. Okay, and then I'm gonna use brown just right here okay. and the same color that I use here I'm just gonna make some irregular markings to create that you know pattern on the dough on the dough or on the bread <laughs> because this is already cooked <laughs> I don't know I don't I don't want to call it dough if it's cooked already But this is a donut, right? So <laughs> I think it's fine. Okay. It's quite early in the morning right here. It's just 9 a.m. It's not super early, but yeah, it's still early. <laughs> Okay, we will go back to this later. I don't want to focus too much on this right now because I know that I can go back to that later. Let's make some like nuts, you know, nuts. <laughs> the So this donut is choco like with some nuts on top. Okay, but first let's again highlight, you know, let's highlight the, okay, I'm gonna add white to my browny yellowy color like that to really highlight this portion of the donut so again my favorite tool my fingers <laughs> I'm just gonna blend So I'm making some irregular markings here because yeah, we want to highlight it and make the highlight appear more naturally. I'm going to create some pattern like so. Okay. 
using the white, brown, and yellow color like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same right here, like so, right? And then here as well. Very subtle application, guys. Okay. And then I'm going to water down that color. And I'm just going to go and spread it right here on the space that I created. I'm going to add more white. Okay. You have to be very quick in, you know, spreading it so that you create that shiny effect without making a weird marking on the donut, basically. Like so, and here as well. Just spread it quite quickly on the canvas, like that. And here, perhaps. And here, just a tiny bit. Okay, now I'm gonna use some burnt sienna, just burnt sienna, and I'm gonna add some brownie colors right here. We just highlighted it, and then the corners or the sides, you have to make it more brown. So that there's some sort of blending going on. We're not creating super weird lines. I'm just gonna make some more markings right here Again, we're trying to suggest the crust of the donut Okay. I'm gonna add more dark brownie colors. gonna make some dark markings
Okay, and I'll be using some black. All right, like that. I'm gonna wash my brush out. Actually, if you don't want any nuts on the donut, you can end here <laughs> and just add more details. But I think I wanna add some nuts because I think it's a challenge as well. So for the nuts, I'm just gonna mix my white and then yellow, okay? And add a bit of brown. But it's, it should be more yellow than brown. So add more yellow and then brown like that. Okay, maybe more brown, all right? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just determining as well the colors as I go. All right, so this color, so I'm right. It's still more, it should be more yellow than brown color. So with this color, I'm just gonna add the nuts. Okay, this is the underpainting for the nuts. Okay, there's a bug on don't worry guys if you see some bugs running around because I'm near my plants. I'm very near my window where my plants are located. It's like a mini garden inside my house. So for the knots, uh, the shape should be um, different, you know. I mean, they should vary in shapes and sizes. That would be really weird if the knots are all in, in singular or standard size. All right. You can add knots as many as you as many knots as you want, actually. Okay, you can even add some brownie nuts. We will highlight this later because this is again the underpainting for the nuts okay this is not the actual color although underpainting wise this should be the color or i chose to be this color So as you can see, some knots are big, some knots are medium size, some knots are even overlapping, like um, outside the sketch, because again, we're creating some dimension here. Okay, some are really, really tiny. All right, just like that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna add more knots right here. Although I'm using a reference image, some knots I just decide to add. They're not really there, but who cares? I want some, I want more knots right here. Okay, all right. So for the detailing, I'm just gonna wash my brush out, okay? 
and I'm gonna use some brownie black color but definitely more black okay so this color I'm just gonna use this as the shadow for the nuts so that they're quite you know quite 3d looking can actually use a smaller brush all right oh my gosh <laughs> this is nice okay so now i'm gonna highlight some nuts <laughs> i'm gonna use my yellow okay pure yellow and then mix that with brown so burn sienna plus yellow so i'm just gonna use that to like create some markings on the nuts Okay, again, do not overdo these steps. I mean, this step. And you know what, by the way, guys, speaking of that noise that you're hearing on the background, I finally found out what that was. Um, actually, they're ambulance. So, yeah, I should not feel bad if they're always making sound when they're passing through the main road. <laughs> and um making some noise while i'm painting because uh it's part of the job just a little fyi because i think i've mentioned before in my previous video that i get annoyed by that sound because i really didn't know what that was um and it happens every time i'm painting but now i kind of understand what <laughs> uh i understand already <laughs> what it's all about so yeah basically I take back what I said that's it all right so I'm adding some titanium white to highlight even further the nuts
All right. How does this look like? Oh, very, very nice. My gosh. Okay, I'm going to get some brown. I'm going to add that to some areas on the knots. This to be more... So I'm just adding a little more details. Okay, I'm gonna use some brown and white mixture, but definitely more, okay, add more white. I'm just gonna go around this area, just like that. It's like where the, the glaze ends. Okay, I'm gonna get more burnt sienna. Like that. Okay, of course, I'm using my fingers to kind of blend a little. And I'm going to make it more irregular. like that I like it <laughs> I like it 
Oh my gosh, you know how much I love donuts, guys. So I'm adding more like dots or markings right here to make it more um, to give more volume. <laughs> I call it volume, okay. All right. All right, okay. Oh my gosh, do you like this one? I like this one. So I'm just still gonna go around. I mean, I'm gonna go under the the knot sprinkles so that kind of give them some shadow Okay, now I'm thinking if I'm going to add some shadow to this donut or I'm just going to end it this way. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I think I'll just end it this way. I don't want to ruin it. Um, I mean, it, it, it looks nice. I mean, it looks okay to me now. What do you think? I know you cannot give an answer because as you watch this one, I'm already done with the painting. I'm just making some white markings to give some more highlights.
like that. Now I'm really, really thinking if I want to add some shadows. like that oh this is nice guys so nice i'm just adding some more burnt sienna you know i think the more you layer this part the more it becomes like more um volumized if I may say All right so i think this is done guys this is done so i have to sign this now and i think we did a good job so i'm gonna sign this now I'm, i won't make any more of the shadowing thing because that will just complicate things and that will that might ruin the painting so sometimes i need to stop at some point i don't want to overdo this and for the signature i'm just gonna sign right here And that's it. I'm done. Yay! So I'm done, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you crave some donuts today. <laughs> so thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give this a thumbs up and share this with your friends um, so that they may learn as well from this video tutorial. See you in my next video and have a great day! Mm -hmm.